السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی مقصود الرحمان فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر ہیز ارج انٹرنیشنل کمیونٹی ٹو ٹیک ارجنٹ اسٹیپس ٹو فیسیلیٹیٹ پیسفل ریزولیوشن آف کشمیر ایشو Foreign Minister says the oppressed Kashmiri people have set their eyes on Muslim Umma for their right to self-determination. Kashmiri Day will be observed across the country tomorrow to express solidarity with the oppressed people of Indian occupied Kashmir. President has stressed the need for exploiting environmental friendly sources of energy to meet the domestic demand. Pakistan has decided to close all passage ways and cargo terminals along Afghanistan border for two days due to elections in that country. First one day international of three match series between Pakistan and Sri Lanka will be played in Karachi tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister has urged international community to take urgent steps to help reduce sufferings of Kashmiri subjected to lockdown for seven weeks. He was talking to his Norwegian counterpart Irna Solberg on the sidelines of 74th session of UN General Assembly in New York. Imran Khan stressed it is equally important to ward off threats to peace and security and facilitate a peaceful resolution of Kashmir dispute. The Prime Minister highlighted belligerent statements by Indian political and military figures as well as their allegations of terrorists. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says oppressed Kashmiri people have set their eyes on Muslim Ummah to get them free from cruel clutches of Indian India. He was talking to his Qatari counterpart Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman in New York. Foreign Minister said situation is very dire in occupied Kashmir as people have no access to food and medicines. He said entire world is protesting over blatant human rights violations in occupied Kashmir. During the meeting, Afghan reconciliation process also came under, under discussion. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says the Organization of Islamic Cooperation will help to continuously raise voice against the Indian atrocities being committed against Kashmiri Muslims. Talking to Saudi Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Adil al jubair on sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York, he said 8 million Muslims of occupied Jammu and Kashmir have set their eyes on the OIC. The minister said convening of the OIC contact group's emergency meeting in Mecca after India's illegal unilateral steps in occupied Kashmir on 5th of the last month and raising voice for the unarmed Kashmiris was a timely step which drew the world attention to the Kashmir issue. The two foreign ministers agreed to continue their joint efforts for peace and stability in the region. Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa says Kashmir dispute has to be resolved as per aspirations of people of Kashmir and relevant UN Security Council resolutions. He was speaking with students and faculties of various educational institutions of Azad Kashmir, members of Youth Parliament, Pakistan, from AJK and members of Youth State Assembly from Azad Kashmir and Rawalpindi today. The army chief said Kashmir is part and parcel of our soul and it is not an issue of geography but our love with the people of Kashmir. Kashmir Day will be observed tomorrow to express solidarity with the oppressed people of Indian occupied Kashmir. The day is being marked to expose the Indian blatant human rights violations in the occupied valley and draw the world attention to the plight of Kashmiri people. 
In a statement today, Interior Minister Ajaz Shah said Indian forces have imposed an indefinite curfew in occupied Kashmir and the people have no access to essential commodities, including food and medicines. The Interior Minister said Prime Minister Imran Khan will also raise the voice of Kashmiri people tomorrow during his address to the UN General Assembly. In occupied Kashmir, over 1,000 members of liars' associations have gone on strike to support the protest demonstrations against the Indian government's abrogation of Article 370 and arrest of several bar members. According to the Kashmir Media Service, all arrested bar members are shifted to jail in Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Indian police also arrested over 13,000 Kashmiris, including Huriyat leaders, activists, traders, and political leaders in houses and in jails and in and outside occupied Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, normal life continues to remain badly affected in the Kashmir Valley and Muslim majority areas of Jammu region on 53rd consecutive day today, according to Kashmir Media Service. Due to the continuous curfew, people are facing scarcity of basic essentials, in particular life saving drugs, re resultantly, children and the elderly people, as well as those suffering from serious ailments, are badly hurt. The claim down has not only affected inter-district road connectivity drastically, but also posed great challenges due to shutting off factories, industries, and other workplaces. This is Radio Pakistan. President Dr. Arif Alvi has stressed the need for exploiting environment-friendly resources of energy to meet the domestic demand. Addressing a Renewable Energy Summit in Islamabad today, he said the country needs energy that does not add to the global warming as well as reduce its reliance on imported fuel. The president expressed satisfaction that government plans to increase share of energy, renewable energy to 20% by 2025 and 30% by 2030. He said investment in renewable energy can be encouraged by offering incentives to the industries and entrepreneurs. Pakistan and Indonesia have agreed to promote relations in all fields, especially defense. The understanding came at second round of Pakistan-Indonesia Joint Defense Cooperation Committee meeting in Jakarta. The two sides reviewed the progress made in the areas of defense industry and military training cooperation. Minister for Energy Omar Ayub says Pakistan's energy industry offers tremendous investment opportunities for local and foreign investors. He was addressing eight ministers LNG producer consumer conference in Tokyo. He said Pakistan is focusing to improve ease of doing business to encourage foreign investors to initiate new projects and expand their operations in the country. Omar Ayub said various steps have been taken for the development of LNG sectors to mitigate energy shortages. These including building, include building of two LNG terminals to receive and regasify 1.2 BCFD gas per day and permission to private sector for setting up five more LNG terminals. Pakistan has decided to close all passageways and cargo terminals except for energy patients, if, except for emergency patients along the Afghanistan border for two days with effect from tomorrow. Foreign Minister in a state foreign office in a statement today said that these measures have been taken in view of upcoming presidential elections and in support of domestic transition in Afghanistan. The statement said that it has been decided to enhance a strict security check of all pedestrian and trading vehicles till Sunday. In Indonesia, 20 people were killed and dozens others injured when 6.8 magnitude quake struck off Indonesia's eastern Malaku province today. Disaster officials said epicenter of the quake was 40 kilometers from provincial capital Ambon. No tsunami warning has been issued after the quake. 
Dozens of houses suffered major, major damage and about 2,000 people have shifted to shelters across the province. Former French President Jacques Chirac passed away today. He was 86. The first one-day international of three-match series between Pakistan and Sri Lanka will be played at National Stadium Karachi tomorrow. High security arrangements have been put in place and 3,500 police personnel have been, who have, will perform their duty around the stadium. And finally, the weather, rain with wind, thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Kashmir, Upper Punjab, Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Islamabad during the next 12 hours. Hot and humid, humid weather is expected elsewhere in the country. To end the news, once again, the headlines. International community to take urgent steps to facilitate peaceful resolution of Kashmir dispute. Foreign Minister says the oppressed Kashmiri people have set their eyes on Muslim Ummah for their right to self-determination. Kashmir Day will be observed across the country tomorrow to express solidarity with the oppressed people of Indian occupied Kashmir. The president has stressed the need for exploiting environment-friendly sources of energy to meet the domestic demand. Pakistan has decided to close all passageways and cargo terminals along Afghanistan border for two days due to elections in that country. First one-day international of three-match series between Pakistan and Sri Lanka will be played in Karachi tomorrow. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.